welcome. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you, Kath. It's great to be here. So you're a natural medicine practitioner and you focus a lot on mental well-being. And stress affects everyone, doesn't it? I mean, no one's immune from stress. No, not at all. I mean, the people that I see in the clinic, my youngest client that I've worked with is two years old with anxiety. Oh my God, two years old? Two years old, obviously working with the mum. Yeah. Um, and then my oldest client, 71, yeah. they just come across with depression or out of the blue. Wow. So it really does affect anyone and everyone. Yeah. And your message is really about embracing stress. T tell me, how Absolutely. do you embrace stress? <laughs> well, I'm always aiming to build a person up so they're adaptive and resilient to stress. That's my job, that's my aim. And that's so we can be able to learn the lessons from the stress, we can grow mm. from them and evolve from the challenges mm. that life brings. Yeah. Interesting because I think mostly we think stress is bad, keep it away. We don't think, how can I bring it into my life? How can yeah. I learn from it? Yeah. yeah. And it's about being able to see things from a higher perspective. So being able to see the silver linings in all of life's trials and tribulations, yeah. <laughs> which can be really difficult yeah. at the time. Um, but if we can get into that space, then we can evolve as creatures. Yeah. Um, and that's really fulfilling. Yeah. Tell me about the scope of the work that you do. Mental well-being is a global problem yeah. and specifically in New Zealand we have really high rates of suicide, mood disorders, addictions. Mm. Um, it's around one in five New Zealanders that suffer from a mood disorder. Wow, okay. And you deal with both ends of the spectrum from chronic stress to absolutely. lesser disorders. Yeah, absolutely. How does a person know whether they're suffering chronic stress or, or just having a bad day? It's usually the ongoing symptoms. So when you're having a bad day or you've had a stressful event, typically you will get over that quite quickly. Whereas when you're under chronic stress, you feel the symptoms a lot every day. So it's a consistent yeah. um, feeling that you have. Okay, and typically I think people often lose their way and they feel bad and they stop realizing what it's like to feel good. Yeah, that's right. So it's, Getting back to balance, and that's what I do in the natural medicine, is actually restoring or helping restore a person's health so they can actually get back to what they used to be like, their normal balance. Yeah. What can a person do for themselves if they start thinking, you know, I feel stressed every day, I'm getting the kids off to school, I'm doing this, I'm yeah. stressed in my work, whatever it is. What, yeah. what can people do for themselves? On a daily basis, it's really important to look after yourself. So from the things, eating well. So good nutrition, the things that we put in our mouth, the beverages that we have. So not too much coffee, not too much wine. Why are you looking at me that way? <laughs> and don't worry, I enjoy a good glass of Chardonnay. <laughs> However, it is the things that we do on a daily basis that will keep us well and keep us performing. So mm -hmm. the other things, one of the biggest things that I find that I say all the time to clients is to get their sleep patterns right. Right. And that is because we, uh, we have our metabolism and our hormones are ruled by our sleep-wake cycles, the light and the dark. Right. And so what people tend to do is they go to, they, they're on their screens until 9, 10, 11 o'clock at night. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so the natural sleep hormone, our melatonin, can't kick in and doesn't allow us to have a good sleep. Yeah. So people should, what, turn off their de devices at a certain time? What should they do? Absolutely. So nine o'clock oh. is the <laughs> oh. golden time. Um, and that's because that's when our natural sleep hormone um, melatonin kicks in. Right. So if we're still on our computer screens or yeah. we're on our phone and we're on social media, yeah. we're stimulating our system when our system is naturally trying right. to wind down and go to sleep. But you don't have to go to sleep at nine o'clock. That's right, just okay. off the screens right. and dim the lights. So even, it's really helpful in your house to actually, if you can, go and dim the lights. Oh. Just so you can actually induce that melatonin okay. um, to assist in your sleep. Okay, and you mentioned eating well. Now obviously if it's something that you're gonna repeat time and again, you should mm. really get that right. How do you know what Absolutely. to eat? It's 
It's different for everybody. So when I'm in clinic, I will do a specific um, diet for that individual. Yeah. But it's more so what not to have or to minimise yeah. rather than having a set diet or protocol that you must follow. Okay. So the main things I do with um, dietary advice is things like coffee. Yeah. So not having too much. And the reason being is that if you're already in a depleted state, yeah. then that can really imbalance the system and it can cause you to have an adrenaline spike yeah. and those sorts of things. So it's more minimising what may be affecting the imbalance rather than making sure you eat a certain thing every day. Okay. And what's your view on sugar? That's my other vice. Yeah. <laughs> It's about you. <laughs> it's, all, it's, all about, it's all about me. Um, for other people, I know that they suffer yep. with these problems. Yeah, absolutely. So, again, what happens is that things like sugar, they stimulate our stress response system. Yep. So we don't want to have too much of it. It's the same thing as coffee that's stimulating the system. So when I'm working with somebody and their system's already depleted, if they then have sugary food on top of that, they're just depleting their system even more, yeah. worsening their symptoms. So it's not going to be helpful. And when people start to tackle their stress by you know, working at the source, not just the symptoms, how quickly can they get to see results? When we are working with a person on their deeper issues, we are also working with the symptoms. We're helping improve the symptoms as we're going along. Right. So we can see an improvement sometimes within days yeah. um, because natural medicine can support symptoms as well as address the underlying imbalances. Great. Thanks so much for joining us on the show, Carrie. Thank you very much, Kath.